before we shift gears to the NBA, I have to teach you guys. Got some college football, uh, some college football news. So, John, Notre Dame will play in the ACC football conference. How do you feel about that, man? The Notre, Dame, Notre Dame versus Clemson. How you feeling? The basketball team already plays in the ACC conference, so it's only a matter of time. I knew that was something they was trying to work on. How did you need to join it permanent? It's just for this season, though. Yeah, I know, but it's eventually still a- y'all probably gonna join. But y'all got the best TV deal ever, so. Right. I mean, that's why I didn't enjoy it because it's like y'all didn't want to share. <laughs> what do you say? The mind's stupid. What you <laughs> I don't know what he said. That's why it's funny. Because John kept talking. It's Zoom, bro. But John kept talking, and Derek was like, "Yeah, that's all that's." That John was like, <laughs> <laughs> "I was just trying to give him some support." Dang. <laughs> Go ahead. I- hmm. No, nah, I was just saying um, the ACC is not really a strong conference, particularly for football. So depending on how which teams we play in particular, have they released a schedule for it or? No, not yet. They, I think I said ten games. That's every team wants. Yeah, that's that's it's similar. Time for us to really show what we're made of. <laughs> I said it. He said it's time for us to really show what we're made of. All y'all gotta do is win every game and just lose to a Clemson, and y'all show that y'all actually are good. But if y'all lose, if y'all lose anybody else, we're gonna beat Trevor Lawrence. Mm, put a stamp on that. Well, speaking of that, um, there was a report, in book. There was a report <laughs> that a uh, big college football names may potentially sit out, and it was true when Virginia Tech cornerback Caleb yeah. Fairley, a projected first round pick, uh, opted out of the season. He said he would spend his the year training for the NFL draft. Then they were saying that Trevor Lawrence, Jamar Chase, people that are already established, they will be a top ten pick. The, the tackle from uh, Oregon may potentially sit out. Um, say well, see well. Yeah. See so, I, I at first I was kind of I brought this in until I first to discuss it, but then when I saw the news of uh, the Virginia Tech cornerback, I was like, oh, this not this might be for real. Like these players may sit out because they are they know they're going first round. Why well, Virginia Tech not going wasn't going to compete for nothing if they would have kept the season anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. Um, but then they tie, They don't want to compete for a national championship. They're ready to get that money. They don't right. want to risk the injury. You want to do the ACC? I mean, like you said, only certain players could do it. Certain players that would make money off their likeness right now could do it. Um, Trevor, like, uh, like. I'm saying they could if they were. You know the NBC, I believe we're talking about letting them do it. The, you know, yeah, it, it didn't start yet, though. I know, but the list of players that would make the most was Trevor, Jamar, Justin Fields, Penny. Yeah. Um, what's his brother name? Stingley, but he can't come out this year anyway. Yeah. Um, but somebody else on the list is really So good. do you think these guys will do it? Do you think they will sit up? No. I think football is different in the South. That's one fact. The South out, is, Leonard side of the championship game. No, I'm saying, but people have been talking about how the South is different as far as, like, how, the way they do football and, like, the drive and stuff. So the SEC, most of them people probably going to play. Even though, but Leonard sat on that bowl game. You remember? I know you remember that. I, I get what you're saying, but I'm saying some some people just love to play. Like they love to play, and that's what it's gonna come down to for college kids. Do you love to play, or do you want to sit out and potentially, you know, <laughs> might hurt your stock, might not. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's not like the NFL where you're getting paid. It's different. So you're, you're yeah, you, you say you say uh, football is different. Football is like it's the most dangerous sport. It's not like when I Zion- think in the South, like. Coach Ed or I, know, I, saw, I, saw, I saw the tweet, but I'm saying. I'm saying but he said we'll play football at midnight if we got to wherever. Like that's how it is in the South, though. People just the drive to play football is bigger. It's like they I'll play football wherever. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Light it up. But you're more likely to get hurt than like, for example, basketball when Zion when he uh remember I said he should settle after that uh football that the ankle injury when he tore through his shoe. Yeah, I was like, nah, you crazy. But basketball is significantly different than football. Cause you could, it could be a non-contact injury. You, this, it, this can any sports, but in football, it seems like more prevalent that you get a non-contact injury. You can get a uh, just somebody just chopping you, go down. There's just small things where you get injured, like makes you, like you could be the season. Uh, John, what do you think? Do you think these big college football names was? Do you think they should sit out, or do you think they should not sit out? John's on me. Just ignore me. Demar, you take a crack at it. I definitely think that athletes. Uh, for college athletes, I would say if you're established, you sit out. There's no reason to risk it. injury. My favorite basketball player only played two games in college. 
I'm very much for this NBA D League stuff where it comes to going there first. So G I definitely League. don't want G League. My bad. <laughs> uh, but I would say, don't even risk it. Don't risk making millions for some college time where they're not going to give you any type of TV deal. They're not going to give you any type of cut if you get injured. If you get injured, that's it. And you can't go to the league. I don't know how you're going to be supported. So don't risk something for yourself that they wouldn't risk for you. That makes sense? I feel you, big dog. Some people playing for their livelihood, bro. People got to play. People are playing. College football for their livelihood? Yes. What they're big playing name for playing? the dance to go to the NFL. That's what they playing for. I'm talking about big names, not if you're established. The established people can sit out, but it's just why. Well, I mean, <laughs> some of them not, bro. I'm just saying. I, some I, of them I know they're not. I'm saying should they? I'm saying this is a discussion. I know they they still gonna. Play. I don't think I don't think it's something to say. What you, I don't think you can say what you somebody should do. Uh, yes, I, I think it's all of, it's advice. I think, it's no, advice. but that's your opinion, though. But that's your opinion. That's that's what we do. We give our opinions on here. They, they, nobody have to take them. Okay, but I'm saying you giving your opinion. But I'm saying you trying to say like what they should do. Not necessarily a should. It's just a you you are you ain't. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. That they should, and if they don't, fine. Like go out there. I I enjoy them. They play, but if they do sit out, I will understand why they're sitting out. But that's the same with every sport. Right so now, what's the difference time. in? Huh? You said what's the difference in college? Yeah, I'm saying, I mean, other than that, they don't make money, yes. But I'm saying, I get what, well, I get what you're saying. You're saying for the fact that they're going to make money off you, you're not going to make no money. But, but they're really not going to make no money for real because I don't think fans going to be able to come to none of them games. Well, they still got TV deals. And right. Other ways, I have having to NCAA create money. Auctions or jerseys, stuff like that. Yeah. So. But I got, I mean... I you know you know you know people that's trying to play to get in the NFL so them people going they gonna play yeah I know for them yeah I was, I was just talking about for the established people that's all I was saying tell yeah. them one more time bro established <laughs> <laughs> John what you got to say man yeah yeah yes see I mean the established players of college football some people want to get better you play D one football to get better and if that's the case. I don't feel like there's any other better training than real life playing itself to make you a better star. And if that's the case, then sure, they should go out there and play. But if you feel like you got it and you think the NFL team is going to take a chance on you and it's possible to sit out the year and then enter the draft, like you're saying, these players or some of them will do, then I don't have a problem with it necessarily. But at the end of the day, it comes down to, again, I said your experiences with COVID, your experiences in general, and if you feel like in your best interest for your family, because some people play football for their family because their family is in such a turmoil condition, like they got to get them out of it. So, yeah. And some people also play football just to get that break from reality because their life could be hell itself. And so playing football is a way for them to keep their mind at ease. So, you know, it really does depend on what each person is going through. Now, I see what they're saying. You really, like, you can't really say should necessarily, but once you look at it from just a general perspective, if you're a star player, should you sit out? I think the answer is yes, because if you're not going to get paid and you can preserve your body and still go pro, it kind of sounds like the best option. So, Trevor, they were saying Trevor Lawrence was the next Tom Brady coming out of – after, like, his first college football game. Like, <laughs> like some of these guys are just – Trevor was established after one season. Jamar was established after I mean, one Like I played against him, so you know what I'm saying? I seen it. <laughs> I seen it. He, he liked that. He is that good. There, there was right when, I say it's similar to like with the professional sports, but the only difference is the money they're making. I'm just saying, if they play, I would love to see them play. Of course, they're stars, but if they don't play, I'll understand it. Like it's just, it's just as simple as that. But with uh the, the if they play, we know who went in that national championship, all right? Who went in that natty ball? Who went in that natty ball? Lawrence and the boys, man. Travis Etienne and the boys, man. <laughs> bro, what's up with you and Clemson? Is, is that your team, bro? No. That's the point. Uh, it's, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, boy. just saying, bro. But it shouldn't be common knowledge that the best player is going to win. They don't have the best player. They have the best player. Oh. 
But they don't have the best team. Mm. They had the best quarterback. Okay. How are you excluding Bama? Like, mm. the Bama boys coming back. Matt Jones. Matt Jones. They, not, they won't be good. Should I, should, I dis- should I stop disregarding Notre Dame too, John? <laughs> Bama and Notre Dame are not on the same one. What? Bama <laughs> not going to be all. Bama not even won in the SEC. So, yeah, um, Bama not even yeah, LSU same. won in the SEC. It'd be if it ain't us, it'll be Auburn yeah, or Georgia. Yeah. It won't be Bama this year. Bama's not don't Bama got good receivers. Mm-hmm. That quarterback play, I'm not I'm not hyped for it. You crazy. Yeah, you don't even sound too confident, John. You asking me, but you you ain't giving me nothing. If LSU not winning, huh? it's gonna be Bama. I mean, I like what doing. I like I like what Florida and Georgia doing, I like what Auburn doing. But I think and then John said is LSU winning like it was on some on like like I'm acting crazy. Not, not, but on some hating though, because it sounds like John got it figured out. Like Bama, LSU got a whole best receiver coming back, best corner coming back. You disrespect. Safety me. was I'm safety was slept on coming back. You oh, say I'm hating? I, I said you disrespecting them on a low. I, I ain't hating on Bama. Bama. I said they got they got Devontae no, Smith. No, 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 they got no, no, Jalen no, Waddle. Said, LSU is not Auburn or UGA. That was disrespectful. Auburn just be Alabama. An Auburn team coming back, except Derek Brown and all your boy. Those are major pieces. Allen Davidson. Those are major pieces. Okay. If it's not LSU, it's Bama. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't think. I think you still tooting up the wrong horn, Bruiser. I don't know how. I don't, what, what made you think they're not? Like, what, what makes you think they're not gonna be good? They lost to Auburn because Matt Jones threw two pick sixes like in the red zone. Like he messed up, but they were in position to score. It just football happened. You messed up again. You go, boy. I think y'all receiving core, the LSU receiving core is probably my favorite receiving core, like, this season, upcoming. Other than, it'll probably be some Pac-12 team that shows out, but, like, Jamar Chase and Terrence Marshall, I like, I like those receivers. And I think – And Alabama got the second best. I mess with Bama because of my girl, a Bama fan, but Bama – Unless you got – unless you got Terrence, Jamar, Racy. Eric Gilbert from Marietta coming. And you act like you act like the Iron Bowl is not a rivalry game. Anything happen. It is a rivalry game, but I don't think I think Bama's dead. I think the I do agree on the dynasty's over. I do agree with that. But I think if LSU don't make it, it's obviously, obviously Bama. UGA always folds against uh Yeah, but I, I think Florida but Florida's looking better and I think Auburn Auburn always come out of nowhere and win one too though. That's what people understand. They always had it one season where it's like boop, Auburn. And then they just they, they come back boop. Damn. They got one of the best coaches in the SEC too. They got a lot of they got a lot of great coaches in the SEC though. Yeah. But I'm not talking about Texas AM. Nobody cares no. about them. Sick of sick of football. Let's just talk about NBA. You guys ready? Well, I had one more thing to see. I forgot. Oh, well, let it let it loose. Let it loose. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. 